He's a senior distinguished fellow at the German Institute for International and Security Affairs and a former German ambassador to China. Ambassador, great to have you on with us. I'm wondering, do you expect to see China continue to be more aggressive in its stance toward Taiwan? Yes, I do. This is the result of a very unhappy uh, combination of various factors. One is uh, the relationship between China and the US, which is uh, an extremely competitive one. And it is uh, also in the shadow of the Ukraine crisis. The other one is the relationship between uh, the United States and Russia uh, over Ukraine, obviously. And uh, the third relationship is that plays a role is the one between China and uh, Russia as well. So the the three relationships are married to each other in, a, as I said, unhappy way, which means that on the one hand, the United States cannot allow the impression in Beijing that because of it is um, uh, taking care of the Ukrainian crisis, it will uh, let uh, Taiwan slip slip out, its, uh, out of its attention. Uh, and uh, secondly, the Chinese cannot allow uh, the impression that because they are fearful of the consequences of their alliance with Russia, they will not be as strict over Taiwan as they used to be. So both sides have to prove uh, that they're still sticking to their old uh, traditional positions on this. So China says Taiwan must eventually be brought under its control, even by force, if necessary. Do you think that it will ultimately come to that? Do you believe the predictions that the West, specifically the U.S., will be at a, at a, a war, a limited war with Beijing by 2025? Yeah, limited or not, it may be, well be at war with Beijing, but I think it is highly improbable at this time that either side will want to commit uh, to this, let it, allow it to come to that, because um, it would be a great risk that this uh, war would be ending in a very, very large um, confrontation, detrimental to the interests of both sides. So both sides will try to keep the crisis uh, limited. But that doesn't mean when your face is at stake that in the end you would not uh, avoid every risk. No, I think uh, there is that danger, even though it is improbable. Given those risks of a potential war, uh, do you think it's even realistic that we would likely see the West respond to China in a similar way that we've seen uh, the West respond to Russia with its invasion with Ukraine and trying to isolate Russia? Do you think that we would see a similar approach in sanctions and trying to isolate China, given that, that much of the world really is dependent on China in many, many ways? Yes, but that is the Ukrainian factor that I mentioned previously, uh, because, uh, of course, if there was a, a U.S.-China conflict, then the United States would demand Europeans and many other countries uh, in the world to follow them in standing up behind Taiwan, standing up at the side of the United States. And because uh, at least European states need America's support for Ukraine, they would have to get to go along with the United States over Taiwan. All right, we're going to leave it there. Volker Stanzel joining us from Berlin. Ambassador, thank you. Thank you.